these are all pyrites, the pyrite horn club. That G10? G10? G10, yeah. Titanium and G10? No, this the steel. Stainless steel, okay. Wow, y'all have a really good finish on that. Yeah. Yeah. That one's the titanium yeah. one? Okay. So this one, this one is titanium. Got the fat carbon insert. Titanium pocket clip. What's the blade still on this? It's my design. What steel? Yeah. No S logo. S90V? Yeah. S90V? I can't see uh, my eyes aren't that great. S90V. S90V. Yes. Okay, thank you. Also got yes. Yeah. yes, they are available from the Kit yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I just bought one for y'all, but I'm doing this for my channel. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I like these. These are all stainless steel? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Those look good. Awesome. All right, so they have a titanium. Is it okay if I record this? Of okay, course, yeah, yeah. Of so they have the titanium uh, echo here, stone wash AR RPM non seal no, titanium pocket. No, no, book. no. We don't have the, the butt lock. Uh, Great knife. What's the price on this? The price, uh, 100. It's 100? 100. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Let's see which one I like better. No, I'm just checking which one I like better. It's, it's just the, it's the best budget knife. The axe is like, like, so good. That's Do you need one? one. Everyone, this is Russell with Artisan Cutlery, and I have a few new models this year for Blade Show 2023. Uh, we have a slightly smaller selection than usual because we are really doing a great job with our button locks, and it's it sell really well. So we decided just like really dial in for a few key higher end and really like finely placed models. So let's bring you down here. All right. So let us start on the CGRB side. So first of all, because everyone's seen this one already. But we're finally getting around to production. This is the large pyrite, just a little bit bigger than the standard version. This one is a 3.5 inch blade. Still a light, comfortable EDC with a bit more handle. This will be coming out in less than a month. But they're finally out. I know the pros have been floating around for a little bit. Reviewers have gotten them, and we're very happy to finally get these ones out and ready to go. So that when do you what are the price points? This one should be around 60. 60 bucks. Street price, 70 something MS or 70 or 80 MSRP. Okay. So very competitive, very reasonable, and very uh. Yeah, that's a, that's a knife for anyone. And that's your AR RPM 9 yeah, steel? Yeah, that's going to be an AR RPM 9. Nice. So, let's Everybody. move to the full protos. We okay. have two designer protos on CGRB's table this time. So, okay. our first model, and this is the big one, this is the resource designed by Dirk Pickerton. And this thing is big. This is a very chunky, overbuilt, full steel liner knife. We may even kind of bulk up the liners a little bit, but so far in our testing, this thing has done wonderfully. The, we have my Carter scales on this one. We're probably going to do G10. And this thing is just like, just look at the blade. The thing's super chunky. And this current uh, prototype is in D2, but the regular versions are going to be in RPM 9. Okay. And if you just see by my hands, like, there's a lot of knife here. This is a year of big knives, and it's like, you know what? Hey, if we're going to do a big knife, we're going to make sure it is just right for someone that wants something big. This is an outdoor <laughs> user. This is a slightly heavier use folder. This is something that can replace a fixed blade in some cases. And we're just really happy that Dirk had this design because this feels amazing in the hand. Like it has a nice grip. We're probably gonna add a little jimping. Uh, we're debating on the thumb studs. Dirk wants a full fuller one. He might keep the thumb studs, he might not. But this thing is just a beast of a knife. That, is that a titanium clip? Uh, no, it's actually a customized steel clip. We, we did it to kind of fit the contours of the knife. So it has a great feel to it. We may just switch over to a standard one just so it can be right or left side carry. Oh, we did we did drill to the left side. We had to, <laughs> we had to figure out how to make this with another, we had to make another clip for it. So okay. we'll see how that works. But this should awesome. be coming out relatively soon. We had to get the confirmation from Dirk himself to kind of make sure it all works out. But that is the resource. So that is going to be probably our largest knife offering from CGRB yet. Nice. That is a big boy. So move to something a little bit smaller now. If you can tell by the design language, I have a feeling you might know who this is by. 
Let, let, Fair and Forge? Yeah, Fair and Forge. Yeah, our first like seed here being Fair and Forge. <laughs> nice. This is the Space Cowboy. Elliot oh, just yeah. finished watching uh, Cowboy Bebop and I was like, all right, that works. <laughs> So this is actually modeled after the, um, the scepter, and this is just a strict button lock clipper. You, like the action of this thing is just super snappy. It's got that very fair and poor just like prominent clipper. Uh, a lot of guys have been coming by and doing like a middle finger flick off the the back, just like off the actual material tonight. Let's see if I can do it. Kind of. We're getting there, but yeah, off, just like the button lock action is nice. It's a three inch blade, so nice and small. Lots of jimping. Yeah. And a really like nice full choil. No, it's a nice piece. One, it's really good. nicely done. It's comfortably small in the hand, and I love the blade shape. That full flat grind, kind of a finer, more like dagger point tip, is just super nice. Yeah, somewhere in here. That's a sharp design. It's great. Yeah. Baron Forge is just. Are they all going to be button locks? Yep, so these ones should all be button locks. Okay. So it's, a bit it's hard to miss with the Baron Forge. So those are the pro. Oh wait, no, sorry. We got to go to the RZ side. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite ones for this year. This is. The newest and first design, first collaboration ever for triple stripe designs. Uh, Jonathan Shaw up in Canada. He is a 20 minute walk from the border, but he is here at the show. He is our first 17 year old knife maker. And honestly, that kid has got some designs behind him. Nice. So the BOA was one of his original knives, and this thing has so much utility to it. It's got a nice, substantial blade, it's a great drop point, a really large opening hole. Thumb studs that work great. This flipper tab, but that's really like a this back rotation curve. It's a great hit on it. We did our version with an inset, uh, inset piece of uh, carbon fiber, so you see where it kind of sits nice and flush. Sorry, I gotta make sure it goes with the camera. Nice and flush with the tie. Nice custom style clip. And the profile of this in pocket is really comfortably small, even though the blade is pretty full size. Is that a top flipper? What was that? Was that a top flipper? Yeah, we'll call it kind of like a top, top slash front. Okay. So with that back okay. face angle, it kind of works both ways. But this thing is just fantastic. I love the air goes on it. I love this like spot of air. If you like doing the, the finger forward grip, this actually works really nice. I think I missed it. What was the blade steel? This one is, uh, I think we're going to do S35 or 20 CD or S90. We're going to just chat with him and see what he likes. But this is going to be on the higher end side of the Arjun model. So this is going to be like the premium version. That's it. I would put it in your hand, but you got a mic. Here, want me to hold the mic so you can hand it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's lightweight. Yeah. That's really lightweight. I grab, I pinch it, Final and then got I don't it. have to worry You've got to put a little nice. relief in there, but the action on this is just so whippy. Yeah, that's nice. Or, nice. Good detail on that. So, yeah. so good. Yeah, I get a firm hold on the pocket. So just really happy with this one. So that's the BOA by Triple Stripe Knives. So that's what we got going on for the Protos, but let's get you over here to the Late Show Special Editions. So uh, we came with some cool stuff this year. I am very happy about this. So let's start off right here. Ray Laconico Echo. Ray is actually standing right over there <laughs> chatting with someone. Some, yeah. Some people <laughs> but explain the like Echo's that been doing great. We figured, okay, are. let's do a tie version. This is flat tie scales, tie clip, black hardware, RPM right 9 blade coming in at a very, very comfortable $100 for Blade Show. We might have this up on the website a little bit later. They're going to cost a bit more, but for the show, the show pricing is $100. Nice. That is some of the yeah. best you can get. With this much tie, yeah, yeah, and already right. a tie clip too, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, full tie clip, yeah. nice and contour. And the Echo really is a fantastic yeah. EDC. It's got great air goes. I love the front flipper on this one. The opening hole is great. I cannot wait. But this is just a sweet model for the show. And for this one, let's move up to the next one. So this is designed by Mike Snowdy. He did the accelerator with uh, the micarta scales. We'll steal RPM nine. That was a very comfortable price, like one hundred twenty dollar. Just, it's model after his custom. It's a beautiful night, but we figured, okay, let's do a full frame lock one. And why not add some frag? So this is the frame lock accelerator. Actually surprisingly thin and surprisingly light for a knife this big. S90V, and this thing just fits so nice in the hand. Just, oh man. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Opening's great. It's got that big blade. I love how there's this extra grip point of here so you can choke up without really getting onto the blade. It has a surprisingly nice backhanded grip. Tie clip with Snowy's logo. We're doing these show price at two hundred dollars, so it's a it's a real good price. Yeah, I, I can't the steel and the titanium. That's a good price. Tie, is that brass accent? Yep, little brass. Yeah, brass. It's a little brass back there too, just for oh, okay. a little bit of color. Nice. And that is Snowy's first design with us, and it will not be his last. Nice. So these have been, it's been a more dialed in year this year for Proto, so we are really happy with what we have going on. And of course, the CGRBs are doing wonderful. The Pyrite is here in force. 
It's a whole bunch of them, and we're yeah, just yeah. like, we're stoked to be here. Yes, awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks to Russell, all the folks over at the CJRB booth. Very friendly, answered all my questions, and took the time to do that interview for me. I really appreciate it, especially being this was my first Blade show with the channel. Man, it was just really exciting, and the products. Whew. Let's step over to the booth. I'll show you what I picked up and kind of recap a little bit of some of what I showed in the beginning that we did not cover during our interview together. So again, shout out to CJRB. Thank you, and really exciting stuff coming from them. All right, I won't keep this too long because the interview and everything was already pretty lengthy, and I don't want to make this video too long, and I'm hoping folks watched all the way to the end. I will do a full review and disassembly and everything like that for this one. This one was the one that I showed you probably right after we went through the table and kind of showed you tabletop everything that was there. This was the Titanium AR RPM 9 Echo. I love this knife so much that I have the carbon fiber onlay on top of the, or the scales on top of the steel liners with the button lock, which this is probably in all honesty, just going to replace that. I'm probably going to go ahead and let that one go. And then I have the liner lock version with the micarta and uh, I probably will keep that one because it is the $50 variant. I like having something in that price point to recommend to folks and to show as a comparison knife. but. In reality, this is probably going to end up being my carry. It has great sounds. Nice and solid. I do need to take this one apart anyway to go ahead and clean it, oil it, and everything like that. I don't know, you know what it went through during transport, who got to see it before I did. That was Friday, um, probably around noon, I want to say, that I got over to CJRB to talk to Russell and folks. So I'm hoping not too many people mess with it, but again, I like to break them down and clean them anyway. And they had some very interesting pyrites that I showed you at the beginning of the video that had some G10 inlays in the steel liner, which I think really brings a level of pop to the knife that was already good looking, but it, it just adds some flair, I feel like, and it gives you some grip and some texture, and those were very interesting to see, and as you saw, they had some colorways on the steel, so those should all still be relatively affordable, and then they were doing some additional premium variants, and I don't know the availability on those. We didn't get to talk to them talk about them as much but as you saw it had like the fat carbon purple haze inlay on the titanium with the black wash blade and s90v and it was a very good looking knife i just prefer the echo a little bit more and uh, russell covered everything from prototype and show exclusive now i did ask afterwards if these were going to be made available and he said later down the road that they would be made available but it'd be at a slightly higher price point and I'm thinking it's probably going to be around that $130 price point uh, when it actually hits the shelves for our local dealers and dealers that we like. In all honesty, the titanium and the build work and the mill titanium clip, I, I don't think that's an unreasonable price. A little bit of that is inflation, but when you take a look at something like the Devo Mash, which was the Blue Creek Knives exclusive, um, that one had 14C28N and titanium hardware and everything throughout and that one was coming in at around 130 so i don't think that they're that far off i think that's going to sell really well i honestly am really excited to see if they're going to do also with the echo since it's doing so well a premium blade steel like s90v and the titanium or the titanium inlays with the s90v really really cool my wife ended up purchasing this for me for Father's Day. So this is going to be another keeper in the collection. And it is one that I will always cherish in addition to the bug out that she had bought me as my first bench made. And then she picked up that Quiet Carry 9 that I had BGM regrind for me. So thanks to my wonderful wife, she followed me around and kept me company and she got to meet some folks. And uh, I'll get into all of that in another video. I don't want to drag this on too long. But again, thanks to CJRB. Thanks to everyone out there that leaves the likes, who has subscribed and regularly comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions about anything that you saw from CJRB in this video, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.